Patriots, we're back and we're together again because Yay. we are here at Pineview getting ready for device deployment on Monday. Check out and, this wonderfulness. And Miss Warren's been here helping us too, but she's uh, hiding in the background somewhere. <laughs> it is Thursday, March 26th. We've got lots of fun news for you today. Um, make sure, parents, that you are checking out our Facebook and um, we're attaching the Google Form link uh, to this new show video um, to make sure that you guys sign up if you need uh, a device or if you need an extra device because you have multiple children at your home. So you can sign up because Ms. Greco and I will be out in the car loop drive through style on Monday um, ready to deploy all these devices to you if you need one. So you can find that form um, on Facebook, but also you can find it on our school website. And it's really important just so we can kind of get an idea of how many devices, if you can please sign up, and that way we are better prepared for when you arrive. Um, also look for our posts later on today where we're gonna be creating a demonstration video. So if you are coming to um, pick up any devices, Ms. Harris and I are gonna create a demonstration video for you so you have an idea of exactly what the process will be as you come. We have some fun um, other stuff planned for next week as we start back to school. You know that um, the staff and teachers here have been missing you terribly and we as staff members have been in communication behind the scenes trying to plan some fun things for you even though we maybe aren't physically in the same building. So one of the things that we have in the works um, that you'll hear more about later today is we are going to come and visit your neighborhoods. I know several of you family members have been reaching out to us on Facebook and saying, hey, is Pineview going to do this? And we are. It is in the works. Um, we're just wrapping up all the details of time frames, um, where we're going to be driving through, but you should be getting all of that information this afternoon. So also we're going to do a spirit week next week. So yeah, so we know that it's going to be hard setting up routines at home, um, moving into kind of a different mindset of schooling at home. And so we wanted to do some fun things. So um, starting on Monday, we're going to have different dress up days and different activities that you can do to participate in some of our Pineview spirited fun. So you'll also see a post on that later on on Facebook, but then each day on the new show, we'll get you prepared for the next day. So that will begin on Monday. Did you know, Ms. Greco, that today is National Spinach Day? I did not know that, but I do love spinach. I love all kinds of spinach, raw spinach, cooked Ooh. spinach. Um, I don't like spinach the way you like spinach though, which is kind of interesting. I will only eat spinach if it's ground up in my smoothie. That's what makes my smoothies green is the spinach in it. That is the only way that I will touch it. But I drink those smoothies because I want to be healthy and strong, like Popeye. Do you remember Popeye? Popeye? I do remember Popeye. Popeye ate spinach out right straight out of the can and that was what gave him his muscles. <laughs> Nicole has a new video for us for Muscly March. So stand up and get ready to get pumped with Nicole, just like Popeye. This time we're going to do some ABC push-ups. Let's get in Miss Reisman's class and Aurelia in Miss Bowen's class. So happy birthday to you. We hope even though you're home and maybe can't go out to do something that you really wanted to do for your birthday, that it's still a special day for you. Happy birthday, ladies. So for lunch today, what'd you bring, Miss Greco? Well, it's a little like Groundhog's Day. Brought a sandwich, sandwich again with some crackers this time. You know, we're busy here trying to get everything done and we're trying to stay um, clean and safe while we do it. So we're kind of eating quickly while we're working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I was thinking, Ms. Greco, today because I have something, I have salad today for lunch. But I was thinking if I could only pick 
one food for the, to eat for the rest of my life, what would it be? And I was trying to guess yours, and I was thinking it was either like a cheese stick, or I know you love queso, um, but if you could have one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh, like, okay, this is a hard question because like if it's like a, a food food, it'd probably be, have to be something like bread related because I do <laughs> love a good piece of bread. Um, but I, I don't know, chips and salsa or chips and guac, like I'm a big fan, big fan of, um, of that. So I, I don't know. I mean, I think people would think I would say pasta because I'm Italian, but I actually like uh, chips and salsa better than I like pasta. Chips and salsa is good. Well, I had to think the whole way here because there's a lot of food that I like um, that I probably think that I wouldn't, couldn't live without. But my food would probably have to be pancakes. Really? I can eat some pancakes with a lot of syrup too. I'm a big fan of syrup. So that would be my food. So Not Patriots. Frosty. No, not frosting. No, that's too much. Frosting is not a good thing um, over and over and over again. <laughs> Pancakes it is. So I was thinking, Patriots, I want to know if you could only have one food for the rest of your life, what would that food be? And I want you to either email me or attach to the comments that I want to see today um, entertain us while we're doing these devices on what food you would like to have for the rest of your life only pick one and don't forget to keep sending me what your guess is for our mystery picture that macro photography photo that I posted in our new show on Tuesday um, I've gotten some responses and I have been responding back to those families when they send me their answers and I will just say this some of the answers are correct and some have been incorrect so but I love thinking of all the guesses because as I read what your guess is I'm like Huh, I wouldn't have thought that that's what that was, but now that you said that, that's exactly what I see also. So it's been kind of cool. So keep sending that in. I'll post the picture up on Facebook separately from the new show, so that way you have another chance to look at it. Yeah, I want to know some of these ideas too. Well, it's time for what you're doing, Patriots. Let's take a look at some of the things that you all are doing while you're at home. What you doing, Patriots? Ava has been going on lots of walks with her family and spending time in the pool. That's a good idea because it's so hot outside. Reed joined in on our chalk drawings and took some time to draw on the sidewalk with some chalk. So did Ryan. He even got a little lesson in abstract art. Alex and Andrew joined in on some chalk drawings and even got a little bit of math practice in. And Bella, she did some beautiful chalk drawings on her sidewalk. Grayson has been blowing bubbles and catching minnows and drinking this delicious looking drink called Yerba Mate, which is the national drink of Uruguay, where his dad is from. Keep those pictures coming, patriots. Remember that even during this time that we stay united as a school, as a community, and as a country. So we ask for you to now stand for the pledge. Patriots, that's it for today. Remember to keep living the questions and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Have a great day. Don't forget to tell us what is the one food you would eat for the rest of your life.